Well, artificial intelligence, we know it is helping people find their dream partners more and more these days. Users on one dating app don't even have to go on the actual first date because apparently AI versions of themselves can meet virtually. I feel like we have heard Time all things. I know, right? <laughs> That's true. Speaking of daylight saving, uh, NBC News correspondent Valerie Castro spoke to some people who use these AI-driven dating apps about their experience and how it helped them find love. What did these people tell you, Valerie? Yeah, guys, so I don't want to give too much away. There is a surprise about the couple that we interviewed that you'll see in just a moment, but they say they were bored and tired of the old dating apps. They wanted something new, so they decided to try AI, and now they say they are true believers. Artificial intelligence now taking some of the guesswork out of dating, using how you speak and how you look to zero in on that perfect match. I focus on true attraction, the magical spark you feel when meeting someone special. Iris Dating uses the science of physical attraction, that take your breath away moment when you spot a potential mate. So that's instinctive reaction, which you can, you can say it's in our DNA. When attraction is present, almost nothing else matters. The AI algorithm uses stock photos to find out which features you find attractive. In phase one, I'll show you random photos. Rate them as like or pass. Then it predicts which real person you might match with after learning your preferences. The app's creator says it currently has around 3 million active users. For Blake and Maria, these profile photos sealed the deal. I swiped and it said instant match. Which means that I had already liked him. It took one day. That's all it took. One day. And I found the person that I cannot live without. That was three years ago. Now they're married and parents to baby Connor. Once you set your preferences, it's pretty accurate and it gives you a few good options. So <laughs> why not try it? <laughs> Another app, Volar, with about 2,000 active users, applies the language of love to find your most compatible partner. But that first virtual date is not between you and another person. It's between your AI versions. In that process of onboarding, it creates an AI version of you um, that will then go on dates with other people's AIs. Founder Ben Chang hoping Volar cuts out that awkward getting to know you phase. It just, it just tries to talk like you. So how you text, are you serious or are you more casual? Do you use abbreviations? Uh, do you use emojis? After that, it's all on you. You need to talk to another human. A recent survey by Cosmo and Bumble of 5,000 singles ages 18 to 42 found 72% agree that while AI can be helpful in dating apps, there is no replacement for human connection. What were traditional dating apps missing that you thought AI needs to have a role in this to make this easier? I think that uh, dating apps, the last revolution was on photos, which is great. But what, it, what it's missing is real connection um, and chemistry between people. The matchmaker may be artificial, but the outcome for some, real life, genuine relationships. Oh, I love that. And they have a baby now. I know, so cute, right? <laughs> so both of these apps are free to download. You can pay for certain upgrades and different features. But at the end of the day, it takes a real person to talk to another real person and make that human connection. So the creators feel like this is cutting out some of the that in-between, yeah. awkward phase. Um, Volar says that they do the blind date for you. They go on the blind date. But the creator also is, it, I guess he's presuming that like that initial attraction is enough to sustain the That's relationship. That's the Iris founder. On yeah. Iris, yeah, he says it's scientific. He says it's just in our DNA that, that certain people that have that magical attraction, that magic spark, that's all it takes. And it'll, it'll last for a long term. I'd love to see the data on that, but a fascinating <laughs> look at how AI is, is in was our dating awesome, lives. Valerie. Thank yeah, you're welcome. You. Thank you, Valerie. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.